We're on hike 38 of 52. Today we're doing the Wenatchee Crest Trail. The trailhead's located at Blewett Pass. This is going to be a little over six miles as an out and back. The difficulty today was deciding to use cross country skis, snowshoes, micro spikes. Um, snow's a little bit too tacky for me, so I left the skis in the car. I've got snowshoes in the backpack, micro spikes on my feet for now, and we'll see how it goes as we move up the trail. So the Natchi Wenatchee Crest Trail is definitely just a road that's been closed to snowmobile access during the winter months. So it's primarily for snowshoeing and cross-country skiing. Definitely wouldn't be something that you would want to do in the summer. This is kind of a winter only hike because in the summer it would just be a road walk. But so far it's been pretty interesting. No sweeping views or anything. But it's pretty nice. So the 52 hike challenge. I can stay 38 hikes into it. It's done a couple of things for me. Um, the first is that even though I was a prolific hiker before the challenge, I, I never averaged a hike a week, which is what you need to do to successfully complete the 52 hike challenge. So there are days like today where you're unmotivated. So today is the day I set the alarm for six in the morning. I turned it off. I set it for seven. I snoozed it twice. I knew that if I didn't hike today I would lose the gains that I had made over the Christmas break so today's a day where I wouldn't have hiked except for the fact that I'm involved in a challenge that pushed me to get outdoors even though I really wanted to sleep in this morning so it's helped with my exercise regimen and that's been a nice thing the second thing that it's done for me that's been a pleasant surprise is it's really pushed me to find an experience to explore new places like this to which I haven't been before. I knew going into the 52 hike challenge that I was going to allow myself to duplicate hikes and count them, but I didn't want a plethora of duplicated hikes. And typically as a hiker you have kind of a, a a 10 hike go-to hike pack you know your 10 favorite hikes and most of the years most of the year those are the ones that you do so what the 52 hike challenge has done has really challenged me to get out there and expand my exploration horizon in a way that's been pleasant and rewarding so i've done probably 30 hikes this year I will, by the end of the year, I've done 30 hikes based on my current plan that will be new to me or an old hike that I've done where I pushed it a little further or done something on that hike that's new. So that was, that was a good unexpected result of taking this challenge. So 30, 34 minutes to go one and a half miles. The snow definitely snows your overall pace down. I'm usually a comfortable three mile an hour person. Probably slowed down to about two and three quarters to two and a half in this. Um, and I'm not having to break trail. The trail's been pretty well broken. So when you're out in the snow, it's just slower go. If you try snowshoes for the first time, I'm not using snowshoes right now, I'm in micro spikes, but if you try snowshoes, you're gonna find that it's significantly more difficult and tiring than you expect. And you probably wanna try on a flatter, in a flatter area to begin with, like someplace like Bumping Lake, the, the Nordic parking area at Bumping Lake is a perfect flat hike to kind of get your feet wet for snowshoeing. And then, 
once you get comfortable with it, try something with a little bit more varied terrain. So I forgot to take the waterproof case off my phone before I started this trip. And what I've discovered is the forward facing microphone, the sound quality is degraded if you have the waterproof case versus a non-waterproof case like the OtterBox. The rear facing microphone works fine. So I know that a bunch of the footage I shot on this trip is gonna have muffled video, which is always the consequence of my forgetting to remove the waterproof, waterproof casing. Two point nine miles in, definitely having to break trail now. The going is slow, about three tenths of a mile from what all trail considers to be the end of this trail. So we're close to the goal. Looks like we'll probably make it. So this is where all trail says the trail ends right here. Clearly we could keep going, but the goal today was to do the entire route and all trails and we've accomplished that so it's time to turn around get headed back out of here and time to watch the Seahawks beat the Packers or at least try to beat the Packers got a nice snowfall now now that I have the trail packed down the going is much easier it's nice on the way out it was hard work on the way in All right, two hours, 40 minutes, 6.5 miles, Wenatchee Crest Trail hike, 38 of 52 is in the bag. Definitely a snowshoeing trail. There's no evidence that they're grooming for skis. Not worth your time in the summer. You do need a snow park pass, non-motorized to park at the trailhead. I'll give this three out of five stars. It was worth it. Um, I wouldn't be excited to do it again. I, I would do it, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't get excited about doing it. There's no grand views or anything, but it's a nice snow globe of a hike. Hike 38 of 52 in the back.